This is the only new construction property available today in this neighborhood. You have 360 degree water views. You're on nearly an acre of land on a corner lot with a brand new dock direct to the ocean with no bridges to the bay. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I brought you to Coral Gables and we're in the coveted Gables Estates and we're taking a look at a brand new construction, six bedroom, six and a half bathroom. Well, actually it has two half bathrooms and you're looking at about 8,700 square feet in total on the inside, asking $33.8 million. Now, before we get started on this tour, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the listing agents for allowing us to even get in here and film it to show you. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida, and this is what I do. I take you around, I show you the nicest homes for sale, and this just happens to be one of them. I think it's time to get inside so I can show you around. Follow me. There's, no, there's nothing more appealing than opening your door and it swivels like that. It just, you already know you're about to enter somewhere magnificent and then the first thing that people see when they walk in is a water feature by the front entrance so you always hear that water seeing water hearing it is really good and healthy for you i just feel like when you walk in how do you walk in here and have a bad time and then you can even go so far as to open these and boom let's say you're hosting a party let's say you're, you're expecting a huge number of people whatever the case may be maybe you just like to come home like this imagine just coming home and walking straight out to head to the party but Let's continue with the inside before we get out there and spoil the surprises. We're gonna start on my right over here. This is gonna be one of the bedrooms on the first floor, very spacious. You got windows on both sides and the really interesting thing about it is that you even have the water features over here and you have some water features over there and you can actually see the bay canal section on that side. Even down to this part of the windows, you can see into the rest of the property, the water feature that takes you from the inside straight to the outside. And you're asking yourself, Jason, this is all nice and beautiful, but where, how do we get to the bathroom? Where's the bathroom in here? Well, I'll show you. Behind this wall where your TV is gonna be planted, you have a really nicely hidden, so much space. And I love the finish of that silver dish looking sink and the black countertop on the wood. It's got a lot of heart and character, which is what you want when you're buying a house, especially when it's new construction. You don't want it to feel like it's just a regular new construction property. That's all that we're gonna see on that side. But this is where this is where your mind is going to start to run wild as you pass the stairs and this white brick wall wow this is the great room this is where the majority of the time is going to be spent in this property formal living room over here maybe a huge art piece on the wall you're surrounded by two walls of windows both water views both natural sunlight everything you're going to want and as you come further down you have so much more room you can do in the main living room if you want because you have another fixed wall you can put a TV on. It's got space for, if you, listen, you like to do interior designing, you know your favorite interior designer, bring them in here. They're gonna have a field day in this property. My favorite feature that I can see so far, because there's only one feature that's really in here right now, is this light fixture. I love how that looks. I think that's the most beautiful thing and it really stands out, especially even when this place is empty and open. And before we get down to the kitchen, on this side you have your half bathroom which is great because if all the guests are here, party's entertaining, no one even has to go down into one side or into the kitchen, it's perfectly into this one corner. Look how elegant the finish is and the bathroom hidden in here. So let's say someone's in the bathroom, someone can still wash their hands and get privacy. When you go down here, across the way, it takes you into the garage and you might be asking yourself, why didn't you just take me to the garage, Jason? A couple of reasons. Besides having two cars you could park right here, and this is actually on the side of the driveway where Alex and I parked our cars, you have storage in here. So besides all the car parking, boom, storage. Everyone needs storage. And if you thought that wasn't enough storage in here, boom, more storage. And as you can see from above, it's AC. So all your stuff, all your bikes, all your equipment, whatever you want to do in here, if you want to have an, like a landscaper's office, it's got space and they won't be stuck in the heat in Florida weather. So really nice to have. Let's head back inside the property so I can show you the kitchen. Let's cross over that 
fixed wall where I told you to put the TV and head straight to the kitchen. But before we get there, there's a few surprises. Here you have the staff quarters. It's got a full bedroom, bathroom, everything you need, laundry, and an elevator. So once they're done doing the laundry, they can bring it straight to the second floor without having to go through the whole property. Over here, we have another half bathroom. This is the, how I said there was two half bathrooms. You got one on that side and one on this side. It takes us right into the kitchen. This house was built to entertain. As you can tell, besides the space, besides the bathrooms, all the access, look at the size of this kitchen. This is where you prepare some of the best meals that you're going to eat. Invite your extended family over and have just like the best time in the world. You got wolf ovens, wolf stove top, wine cooler and just take a look at the size of this fridge that's right next to the wolf microwave and wolf coffee maker i didn't even know wolf made coffee makers i thought it was always mila good to know boom big fridge sub-zero the best of the best and the best part is if this kitchen space wasn't enough for you you're thinking oh jason that's not gonna work i don't have enough space for my my food and snacks i need a pantry i listened i would have brought you here if they didn't have one Take a look, more storage down below, everything you need, and it goes extended down on this side. So you can store all the food, all your snacks, everything over here. And there's also access straight to this pantry from that hallway that took us to the kitchen. Coming back down here, here's your main TV room area. Got the wall mount for the TV, so it goes right here. And look how much space you have for couches. I mean, it's gonna take you a lot of time to fill up this place with furniture. So that's telling me that you can either make it a really minimalist look, have one big sectional and leave the rest open or even have room for a second dining table right here. So you got like the server's counter, dining table right here. They can put the food up. But the best part about this whole space is that wall to wall corner view looking out onto the rimless pool that looks like if you look at it from a certain angle, it looks like it's just flowing into the water. You can see your boat parked up on the dock. So while we're on this side, let's go take a look outside, but I want to take the water feature away because I thought that was really cool. And I want to show you what it would be like if you were a guest coming over or if you were entertaining how they would arrive. Let's say you're throwing a party and everyone's already outside. Instead of making the guest walk all the way around to the formal living room, they just have this access straight from the front door. So when you come on out, you cross over these steps, water features on both sides. So you get that nice sound of the water and then boom, it takes you right into the shaded area of the outdoor entertaining space. You get that same wood finish on the ceilings going all the way down. That is throughout the property. And then look at all the space you have out here. You have like the coral design on the floor, the white brick on the wall, you feel like you're in a Mediterranean oasis, which is pretty much what this is, a contemporary Mediterranean oasis. All this lounging space right over here, you put a couple couches, couple chairs, you even have a pathway that can lead you down to one side and then down here, these stones take you to the front of the property where we saw those water features at the front by that bedroom. Coming down to this side, think about this, wires for TVs, Speakers throughout, you got the fan above, so you can have this as like an outdoor living room section. Couch over here, couch over there, couch. But the main feature is you want everyone to just be able to appreciate all of this. The water, the pool, the faux lawn, the trees, it's incredible. And one feature that Alex even pointed out, and I saw myself, is that they have these chains hanging straight from the top of the gutters that come straight down. And that's so when the water's trickling, it's not splashing, it follows this nice flowy pattern. And it's just little details like this. Like I've never seen that, but I just, now that I see it, I never want to not see it. Every house better have this or it's not to the standard we're looking for. The amount of people you have inside hosting, they can easily and comfortably fit outside. And plus all of these doors and windows can open up completely. So you get that indoor outdoor sort of feel when you're entertaining. And then it takes us right into the chef's outdoor kitchen. You've got everything you need out here. I want you to take a look at the detail just of the countertop of this island. Beautiful finish over there. You got everything you need as a cook. You got all your appliances, your fridge, your ice maker. This is where everyone's gonna be picking up the drinks, cooking the food. This is, this is where you, you know, you're cooking the burgers and your family comes, grabs one, grabs a drink. It's just an amazing time. And then once everyone's gotten their food and they're eating and it's time to go have fun out in the yard, follow me, I'll show you what it looks like. So coming across the faux lawn as you walk past that living room where we first decided to go outside, you have another section of faux grass. This would be really great for loungers, cabana, 
really anything you can imagine. It has a little bit of shade, a little bit of sun, but it just allows for more exterior entertaining space, which you can't get enough of when you live here. And then let's just focus on the best part of outside easily is this rimless pool. Look how inviting that looks. I don't think you understand how hard it is for me not to just jump in there head first and just take a swim. It's so inviting. The rim on that pool, like I said, flows directly with the water, almost in the same direction, little speakers and lights and everything throughout. So it, this is truly like an outdoor entertainer's paradise. And look what you're looking at all day. You're not looking at across the street, you have less expensive properties. You're looking at houses that are as beautiful, which is kind of impossible. So you're looking at houses that are almost as beautiful. Hang out, I guess these are just steppers. Yeah, look, crossover. The hot tub is also rimless. When we come down here, this is one of the larger docks I've ever had the pleasure of seeing. The dock goes all the way from that boat down on that side with a ladder, wraps completely around this corner and goes down almost to where we parked our cars in the front. You have so much docking space. And if you got a large boat, as you can see your neighbors do, you're gonna have no trouble fitting it right here because we're on that corner lot. So on that note, let's go back inside so I can show you the second floor of this property. Follow me. back inside. I don't want to come back inside, but I just, I'm dying to show you the rest of this house. This is, I would say this is definitely one of the nicest houses Alex and I have ever been to. Price, size, everything. You saw me pass it in the beginning. Here is your access to the second floor. Like I said, there's also an elevator, but for this purpose, let's just take the stairs and we're going to head down to this section first and take a look at the bedroom upstairs. All these, as you're coming across are closet spaces. This is actually kind of like a wet bar. So you have a fridge here, storage, this is a great place to put the coffee machine, a couple of bottles on the way to your bedroom. Here we are in your master suites. As the first bedroom did, up here you have views of the entire front of your property, which is a good thing because you have water across the street, water in your front lawn, and then water on that side. So this is a super spacious room over here. It's gonna take us to the master bathroom. And I forgot, before we get to the master bedroom, you have your two closets. Let's take a look at closet number one and I love the finish. I actually like how they made them very neutral closets. It's not very masculine, but it's not very feminine. This light fixture screams opulent, and then you have this elongated island in the center with drawers outlaid with leather to put your valuables, your watches, your jewelry, shoes, handbags, suits, ties, anything for everyone. I even love the feature of putting mirrors on the closet door so you can check yourself out and you, you optimize storage. Let's take a look at the second closet from here. And here we go. Second closet, the island's a little smaller. You have a seat in this one, but the wraparound storage is just as nice. It goes completely around, like I said, handbags, shoes, shirts. I'm thinking that this is his closet and the other one was her closet just because of the size of the island. I feel like she might need that more for her earrings and jewelry and stuff like that. But let's go to the part where everyone comes together. This is the master bathroom, your sink. Look at the light fixtures, this floating style mirror. It's fixed, but it feels like it's just floating in front of you. The slanted sink right over here. And the best part is you have one sink over here, one sink over there, and they kind of both have a spot for a vanity if you'd like one. The soak in tub, just imagine yourself laying in here. Once you get in, slide this up to you, slide your wine glass in, and you're just appreciating life and everything there is to offer. So coming into the walk-in shower, I'm in love. You got the two separate heads and faucets and everything looking out onto the water. And just so you don't miss it, when you turn around, you have a mirror. So while you're washing, you can just watch that reflection from right over here. And the space in here is enormous. Two entrances so you can meet each other in the middle. It's perfect harmony. Let's head up to the second story hallway and take a look at the rest of the bedrooms up here. Follow me. It is super long. Look how long this hallway is as you're walking across. My favorite thing about it is that while you're walking across, you have floating plants on that ledge by the window. Coming down, you have a glass pane railing so you can see all your beautiful furniture and art pictures. But looking out, this is really just the money shot of this whole property, looking over this great room. Here we have sort of a common area. This could be a second upstairs living room. So let's say you have a few guests spending the night 
This is where you put the TV entertaining areas. That's exactly what it's made for. You have speakers, surround sound, TV mount in the wall, and they have windows on every corner so they get a lot of natural light. The elevator takes you up right to this side, and let's start with the bedrooms on the front right side of the second story. Is this not a master suite? I mean, look at this. Look at the amount of space you have for one guest bedroom in here. So let's say you wanna get some fresh air, your guest wants to enjoy outside, look at this. They come out here and they have their own little space. It's also a little bit shaded, but they can get some sun if they want, overlooking the beautiful front end of the property. The trees, the plants, all wrapped around. There's details every square foot of this house. Let's take a look at the bedroom adjacent to this one. You make it right, and you're walking down a hallway straight to your bedroom. And before we go any further, on my right, you have a walk-in closet with top shelf storage. So your guest is completely taken care of as far as storing their clothes for the weekend or for the week. And then boom, another grand open suite in here. Corner view, looking at some water, the front landscaping of your property yet again. And what's this? Another elongated balcony. This one has even more space than the one next door. And it's definitely completely covered. This is perfect for lounging up here. Right behind me, you have the ensuite bathroom. It's got stand-in shower with a frosted window, so you can still get some natural light, but no one's evading your privacy. So coming out of those two guest bedrooms on the right side, we're gonna head over to the left side, crossing the second story living room. We're gonna make a right, and it's kind of like a replica of what we just saw on that side. You have the first bedroom over here, but I wanna show you what it looks like because of the amount of space you have again. And this balcony is actually really unique because it's more of a Juliet balcony. When you come out onto here, it overlooks the pool area and over the covered outdoor seating. This one's really nice because it's, I've actually never seen one like it. Besides having the plants that go up across the sill of the property and down on both ends, you're looking over the entertaining space. Imagine being up here when there's a party down there. Hey everyone, I'm the king of the castle. Like, it's just, it's amazing. It's, this could be a master suite and it probably could be a master suite. This thing is huge. It's, these bedrooms are all just like really, really, really large. Here, you're either gonna have the bathroom or the closet. It's got the same bathroom as the last one, the walk-in shower with a frosted window for your privacy. And then over here, you've got the same top shelf storage and a lot of space in there, so you're well taken care of. Let's bend the corner. I think we know what to expect up here. This window looks out onto the water the same walk-in closet we saw in the rest of the bedrooms up here, and then boom, look at this room. This is probably one of the most appealing guest suites because it not only does it overlook the pool and the water, you have this huge balcony so you can go out and really, truly appreciate it. You have the bathroom in here. I, I, it just toned me down. I don't know, I, I instantly feel this sense of tranquility and peace overlooking my front lawn. This tree with the orchids attached, this pool that goes in the length of the property, the water, you can't be upset when you're living here. And this is actually where I'd like to end the video. I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm sure you had a great time while you were here. But if you didn't, give me one more chance, take a look at the rest of the videos that we have. There's also a vlog day that we filmed behind the scenes when we were shooting this property. And you can watch that right here. If you have any questions about the music, wanna see this property in person, all of that stuff will be in the description below. And I'm your man, all right? If you wanna buy, sell, rent, anything, I'm your man in South Florida. Feel free to reach out and I hope you have a really good day. Thanks again to the listing agents and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. All right.